Chase, um, you endorsed uh, Jim Jordan, so I'm assuming you voted for Jim Jordan today. If the vote for Speaker were today, would you vote for Steve Scalise? I would not. I plan on voting for Jim Jordan on the floor. Um, I've been very vocal about this over the last couple of days. I personally cannot in good conscience vote for someone who attended a white supremacist conference and compared himself to David Duke. I would be doing an enormous disservice to the voters that I represent in South Carolina if I were to do that. That's MAGA Republican Nancy May stating that she will not be supporting MAGA Republican Steve Scalise as Speaker of the House, despite the fact that the majority of the Republican caucus voted for Steve Scalise to become the Speaker of the House. She will vote against him when there's a House floor vote. I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. Now, MAGA Republican Nancy Mace is stating that because she's the centrist and her constituents would never support her, uh, if she supported Steve Scalise, who previously compared himself to a palatable version of David Duke, the former leader of the KKK, that she can never support somebody like Steve Scalise. That is true about Steve Scalise, but MAGA Republican Nancy Mace states that she would be supporting MAGA Republican Jim Jordan. You following me here? She'd follow Mag She'd support MAGA Republican Jim Jordan, even though he's no longer even putting his name in the race for Speaker of the House because he lost uh, in the Republican caucus when it's put before the full House. Um, and here's what she said when she was asked over the weekend why she was supporting Jim Jordan. And she was asked, does it concern you that MAGA Republican Jim Jordan has a history of covering up sexual abuse at his prior job before becoming a member of Congress? And MAGA Republican Nancy Mace is like, oh, I don't I don't remember that. I, I've never heard that. I don't have the information. I just don't know. Play this clip. I know you've been outspoken about um, defending victims of sexual assault through the past allegations against Jim Jordan mm -hmm. that he turned a blind eye to sexual abuse. Give you any reservations? I yeah, I'm not a familiar or that? aware with that. I, he's not indicted on anything that I'm aware of, and so I don't I don't know anything and can't speak to that. But I will it's say the Ohio that I have State been, University as you said, allegations. Margaret, a very, yeah, I don't, I don't know anything and I, I don't know anything about that. What I do know is that I've been a very strong voice for women. Okay, now back to today after the vote to, uh, by the Republican caucus to put Steve Scalise as their Speaker of the House. In that same interview I showed as the first video clip in this video, you have MAGA Republican Nancy May stating that she believes that Democrats would support Jim Jordan, but when asked, Okay, what, name me a Democrat that would support Jim Jordan. It's like, I need to preserve confidentiality because she is a liar. Play this clip. If, it's, if it goes to a third round, fourth round, fifth round, uh, I've heard Co Congressman Patrick McHen McHenry's name out there. I've heard uh, Tom Cole or Tom Emmer. Who are some of the other possible uh, individuals who you think maybe could get to 217? Well, I think Jim Jordan is not out of the mix. I've talked to a lot of people who still support him. I've actually talked to Democrats who, who trust him at his word. I, I don't think that's out of the realm of possibility. Jim Jordan? I, yes, I've talked to Democrats over the last week on who do they trust, even though they wouldn't agree with him on many issues. He is The Jim can, Jordan from Ohio? Oh, yes, the Jim Jordan from Ohio. Democrats I've to in Congress? Yes, they can work with him and those that name I one to, Democrat from Congress that trusts name Jim Jordan people off the record. They trust him more than they trust the former speaker in my private conversations with Democrats. I will say that um, I will also say that other names that I've heard are Patrick Henry, like you said, and also Tom Cole. Really, what people want is someone that they can trust and who will be true to their word at the end of the day. OK. I'm not sure I'm buying the thing about Democrats trusting <laughs> Jim Jordan. I talk to but... people on both sides of the aisle all the time. Oh, I Jake. believe that. I believe that. I just don't know how much I believe the thing about Democrats trusting Jim Jordan. I'm but... not saying they're going to vote for him. I'm saying they trust him more than they trust the former speaker. Well, that's not really a high bar now, is it? <laughs> not at all. Congresswoman Matt Nancy Mace of South Carolina, always good to have you on. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. So let's take a look at MAGA Republican Nancy Mace, because I think she is emblematic of what the MAGA Republican Party has become, right? Other than, I guess, Donald Trump, they stand for nothing and they fall for 
everything. There's zero principles. But there were warning signs about MAGA Republican Nancy Mace back in 2017 when a video surfaced of her, and this video has now resurfaced. And I'll give you just a quick warning. It is going to be a video of her taking a shot and then spitting it into the mouth of somebody next to her. And this got attention in the news, the Palmetto politics beat uh, in South Carolina talked about when a drinking game becomes an election issue. And it talks about how when she was, Nancy Mace was running for the South Carolina House of Representatives um, in the House District 99, um, this video surfaced and her Democratic opponent back in 2017, 2018, basically said that this is an indicator of her questionable judgment, but it didn't really get a lot of attention. So let me show you this video of Nancy Mace, and I'm going to not show you the more graphic parts of it. I'll just show you the beginning. Play this clip. Yeah, it gets much grosser than that, and I don't want to show you the whole video clip there, but that's from Nancy Mason, uh, 2017, um, and that video surfaced then playing that drinking game. Here is what Nancy Mace did before she arrived for the vote for Steve Scalise, and she was supporting Jim Jordan. She showed up wearing a scarlet letter A because her argument was that, I guess, MAGA, the former MAGA Republican Speaker of the House, Kevin McCarthy, was dehumanizing her, um, and that that's why she was wearing the scarlet letter A here. Watch Nancy Mace before the vote within the Republican caucus. Play this clip. I'm wearing the scarlet letter after the week that I just had last week, being a woman up here and being demonized for my vote and for my voice. I'm here to let the rest of the world know and the country know I'm on the side of the people. I'm not on the side of the establishment, and I'm going to do the right thing every single time, no matter the consequences, because I don't answer to anybody in D.C. I don't answer anyone in Washington. I only answer to the people. Thank you. Okay, and while she wears that scarlet letter A, let me just give you a flashback to where MAGA Republican Nancy Mace over the summer um, was speaking during a Republican prayer breakfast that she was going to have premarital sex, but decided to go to the breakfast uh, instead. And this is something that she wanted to share with the audience. Here, play this clip. And when I woke up this morning at 7, I, I was getting picked up at 7.45. Patrick, my fiance, tried to pull me by my waist over this morning in bed. And I was like, no, baby, we don't got time for that this morning. Uh, I got to get to the prayer breakfast. And I got to be on time. And a little TMI. But um, I... He'll, he can wait. He's got, we got, I'll see him later tonight. Um, but we should also remember that back in 2022, Nancy Mace, when she was running uh, in the midterm elections, uh, she went in front of Trump Tower because she was being primaried and she acted like Donald Trump supported her. And she said, I love the Trump Tower. This is amazing. And this is so great. I'm always with Donald Trump. Um, but Donald Trump demeaned her and Donald Trump basically mocked her for doing that. She still supported Donald Trump after he mocked her, but he made fun of her and degraded her. Watch Donald Trump at a rally from the midterms mocking Nancy Mace for going in front of the Trump Tower. Play this clip. Different candidate. She went to New York and stood in front of the magnificent Trump Tower. Has anyone ever heard of Trump Tower? And did a commercial insinuating that I was endorsing her. She's standing all the way in front of Trump Tower in New York. I'm saying, can you believe this? It was untruthful, just like everything else she does. Thankfully, this June, you have the chance to dump these grandstanding losers and replace them with two rock solid America first champions. Here's the video of MAGA Republican Nancy Mace going in front of the Trump Tower to support Donald Trump. Play this clip. Hey everyone, Congresswoman Nancy Mace here. I, I'm in front of Trump Tower today. And um, I remember in 2015 when President Trump announced his run. I was one of his earliest supporters. I actually worked for the campaign in 2016. I worked in 
seven different states across the country to help get him elected. I supported him again in 2020 because of policies I believed in. He brought American jobs back. He lowered our taxes, wages, and employment were better for every hardworking American in our country. He made America safer, and he took on China directly. And America was stronger all around the world. And, and quite frankly, freedom and democracy was stronger all around the world. And these are things I still believe in today, policies that I believe in and continue to. As a strong fiscal conservative, I believe in putting America first. I believe in putting our country back on the path to prosperity. But Nancy Pelosi would love nothing more than to win the seat back in a midterm election cycle. She did it in 18, and she can do it again uh, this cycle. And I was elected to represent the people of the first district. I won this seat back for Republicans in 2020. And if you want a Republican majority, if you to thwart the radical far left DC Democrat agenda, then we've got to keep the seat in Republican hands. We've got to get a majority back. If you want to lose this seat once again in midterm election cycle to Democrats, then my opponent is more than qualified to do just that. If you want a Republican majority, if you want someone to continue to represent the low country, if you want someone to represent the low country with our fiscally conservative values, then I'm here to serve. No, and so you saw at that clip at the beginning where again MAGA Republican Nancy Mace is like, oh, you know, I'm I can never support Steve Scalise because of his past racist behavior. Well, let me be clear. You support Jim Jordan, you support Donald Trump. Um demonstrate lots of questionable judgment. But here you are now going on the Steve Bannon show with Matt Gates after you called Matt Gates a fraud for going on the Steve Bannon show and fundraising where you voted to hold Steve Bannon in contempt of Congress so that he can go to prison. Play this clip. Far right. Right. Far right. And I'm thinking, OK, look at what well, look at who you, look at. Let's talk about this for a moment. <laughs> OK, Nancy is not a hard right. Uh, uh, I, in, you know, in transigent lawmaker, but our Venn diagram overlaps Didn't around vote spending. To send me to federal prison. For I like four the months? Constitution. I'm a constitutionalist. Okay, okay. It's getting hot. My, 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 no, my, my appellate lawyer would disagree about that, but that's not a so, so, but, but, and here is uh, MAGA Republican Nancy Mace on CNN getting called out for her hypocrisy. Play this clip. I'm glad you brought that up because back in January when there were the marathon votes for Kevin McCarthy to get this job, he was fighting to take the gavel. This is something that you said. Mm -hmm. Matt Gates is a fraud. Every time he voted against Kevin McCarthy last week, he sent out a fundraising email. Uh, what you saw last week was a constitutional process diminished by those kinds of political actions. Of course, now here we are in October. You and Congressman Gates are, are in agreement on at least ousting McCarthy. You were on a podcast together today. You yourself the have been irony, fundraising off irony. that vote. How do you mm -hmm. how do you explain that to to now? Well, I have not been fundraising off of this every step of the way. I made my decision last night. I, I made the decision to fundraise over the last 24 hours because of the threats that I have received over fundraising and money drying up, which is why I need help. The people, the establishment is coming after me. I've gotten a lot of threats from different groups and different members that they will withhold fundraising no matter what. And I do need help from the people. And that was a decision that I made late last night because of everything that was going on. And it is a genuine ask. And if they want, if, if people want to support the effort, they can go to nancymace.org. Well, that podcast was one that is done by Steve Bannon. Of course, you once voted to hold him in contempt of Congress, which he brought up today. Mm -hmm. Is he now advising you? No, nobody. I mean, I, I have consultants, but he is not one of them. I often will make my decisions on my own volition. Now, a lot of clips to digest right there. And I'm sorry for even playing the one from 2017 um, with the drinking and all of that. But I, 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 there's a broader point I want to make. Because you have Nancy Mace, who many called when she ran in 2020. She only won by 6,000 votes, by the way. She branded herself as a moderate. She branded herself as a centrist. But as I mentioned at the beginning, these MAGA Republicans believe in nothing other than Donald Trump and the cult of MAGA, and they fall for everything. There are no principles here. 
It's all a game to them where you engage in this performative uh, cosplay fascism and you, you show up with letters on your clothes and, and, and you just make a mockery of the system while trying to take away people's freedoms. You seize these positions of power and then take away people's autonomy. You take away people's reproductive rights. You take away people's freedom to love and marry who they love. You take away people's livelihoods and health care because it's all a game to these MAGA Republicans. It's all a game to them. And, and this, I want to show you this video because there's not a modicum of seriousness here. And she's considered or was considered a serious person. That's how she branded herself to her constituents in South Carolina when she won in 2020 by 6,000 votes. So I hope you all are taking notice. I hope anybody's taking I don't care what political party you're from. What I just showed you, the behavior right there, it's not a political statement for me to be like, I don't support that. Like that's just someone who lies and lies and switches positions and, and, just, and just treats us all. Like we don't see it, like we don't get it. Like she's pulling one over us and like, whoa, we tricking us. We, 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 we see right through you, Nancy Mace. We know who you are. We know who the MAGA Republican Party is. I'm Ben Micellas from the Midas Touch Network. Hit subscribe. We're on our way to 2 million subscribers. Check us out at patreon.com slash Midas Touch and have an excellent day. Hey, Midas Mighty, love this report? Continue the conversation by following us on Instagram, at Midas Touch, to keep up with the most important news of the day. What are you waiting for? Follow us now.